Hello everyone, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you for joining me here today on my channel. This is a reading for the sign of Taurus in reference to the recent past, the present, and the future. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link to my official IG is below. And as always, not each and every person watching me is gonna feel like this is their message and that's okay. All right, so let's take a look at how the person that you think about is feeling in the recent past. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to this person that thinks about Taurus. How are they feeling in the recent past about Taurus? How is this person feeling in the recent past about Taurus, Spirit? How is this person feeling in the recent past about Taurus? Hmm. They want to talk to you for sure, but they feel like you're unapproachable. That's what I'm getting here. We have the Knight of Cups energy, okay? Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy, the Seven of Cups. So this person has a lot going on here in the recent past. As a matter of fact, too much going on, which is why you're trying to get answers from this person and they're not providing any type of clarification because I feel like this person doesn't even know what they're doing, honestly, okay? They are confusing themselves because they keep on jumping into things without thinking before they act. And I feel like they're saying yes to everyone, all right? Um, there's a point in time where you can't give your energy to everyone because what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna end up drained, all right, and so I feel like this person is draining themselves. Um, they also are having anxiety here, okay, very anxious because there's so many things that they have um, all of this responsibility over now because they don't know how to say no, all right? And with the Knight of Cups energy, it's like they still have emotion for you and they want to come towards you, but they have overcommitted in some way. All right, and probably in the wrong direction. We have Capricorn energy present here. So I feel like they can't stop thinking about you, probably obsessing, all right? With the Nine of Wands energy, very guarded and kind of pissed off because I feel like you are walking away or leaving this person behind and they don't like that. This person is used to getting what they want, all right? Especially from you. Okay, so that's what I'm getting here in the recent past. The King of Pentacles is also present, um, signifying that they understand that you're getting money and that you are on the come up, okay? Uh, they view you as someone who is very stable financially, and I feel like they're trying to be like that, okay? But um, servicing all of these different people here is only making things worse for them, all right? Okay, so let's take a look at the present. That was the recent past. Let's take a look at the present when it comes to the person that you're dealing with. How does this person feel about Taurus in the present? How do they feel about Taurus in the present? Okay, so disappointed, sad, missing you, looking down, wondering why you guys are in separation when most of it is their fault, honestly, okay? Um, this is what they don't tell you, right? Um, they still have a problem being open. They still have a problem being candid, legitimate, honest, sincere, right? Um, I have no idea why they choose to keep this to themselves, all right? But we're going to clarify. Let's see what else we have when it comes to how this person feels about Taurus in the present moment. Talk to me about how this person, they feel trapped. They feel like they can't move on from you. They can't. But again, nobody told them to go and entertain all of these people over here in the recent past. Now they feel like they're stuck in a place that they can't get out of, right? You can't be a yes -um all the time. People have to learn how to say no. This person doesn't know how to say no. Okay? That's what I'm getting here. All right? I just feel like they're being a people pleaser right now. And 
that's part of the reason why, you know, they are distracted, right? They're so distracted that it's causing mental health issues for them, literally. That's what I'm getting for this person. It's causing depression, anxiety. They're all in this retrospect type of energy where um, when they make decisions, they're just jumping into them, right? But then in retrospect, that's where the trauma begins for this person. Now, um, I don't see this person letting you go in the present. So I don't care if they've spoken to you or not. Their energy is still with you, with the Seven of Pentacles. That's you, okay? And then we have this King of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some of you guys are dealing with another Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. But I feel like this person can't drop you, all right? They can't uh, seem to rid themselves of the situation. I feel like they're trying to avoid the situation. They're trying to get over you, but they can't. It's an obstacle. Mm. Yeah, because you are their 10 of cups. I don't care what they tell you, all right? The energy reader is going to pull up and keep it a hundred with you, all right? You are this for this person, but they still do you dirty. Still, right? Unbelievable. Spirit, please talk to me about the future when it comes to this person. Ooh, cards are flying. Okay, let's see what we have here. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> All right, mm, Ten of Pentacles, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I see that your person in the future, still with the Nine of Swords, if you've been watching me every day, then you will verify that we have been getting this for your person in the future for about a month now, okay? The cards are not gonna lie. Let them go on and roam the world, do what they wanna do with whomever, hop around, jump around. Let them go on and do that, okay? Because look at this Nine of Swords. So I feel like that's what they're doing to themselves. That's why there's no need to argue with them. There's no need to be confrontational. There doesn't have to be any type of payback. There doesn't have to be revenge. Just leave it up to whom it is that you pray to, right? And leave it up to the universe to take care of the situation with this person, all right? And we have this guarded energy here of them still not being honest with themselves, all right? With this Two of Swords energy, blindfolded, you know, front and over here, like it's all good when it's not, right? Nine of Swords, you are this person's Ten of Pentacles. They keep that low key with this hermit energy here, all right? Now, let's take a look. At the recent past here, let's verify why we have Capricorn energy here, okay? Because that's toxic, and I feel like they're giving to everybody in the recent past, and that's why they can't commit to you or they can't confront a situation when it comes to you because there's so many other people involved here. So, Spirit, talk to me about this Capricorn energy. Talk to me about this Capricorn energy when it comes to this person that Taurus thinks about. What is this Capricorn energy all about? What is this Capricorn energy all about, please? Mm, the strength card, yeah. They can't stop obsessing over you, okay? I don't care if you haven't spoken to them in a month. Somebody who is entitled will never hit you up when you want them to, you know what I'm saying? This person will close themselves up and stomp on their feelings before they're honest with you, okay? That's what's going on with this person. It's taking them so much to not come forward and talk to you. It's like they don't wanna lose you, they don't wanna live without you, but they don't wanna tell you either. And that's a damn shame, honestly. They're only harming themselves. And we talk about this all the time right? But we process this together every day and you're going to overcome it. I'll help you do it. 
Now, with the magician, it's like they want to talk to you. They want things to work out. But they got to get rid of all of these people over here. That's what the real problem is. We got about seven people over here that are depending on this person or they feel like some sort of obligation to pleasing all of these other people. I feel like they're trying to please their family members, but it's not legit. It's all like a fallacy. It's not real. It's all a show. You know what I'm saying? It's not authentic is the vibe that I'm getting. You know, it's like to please everyone else's perception type of shit. You know, I don't get it. It's like, oh, I don't want to disappoint, you know, my mom or my dad or my sisters, my cousins. They're so worried about other people's thoughts of them. It's ridiculous. It really is. Now, let's clarify the Eight of Swords here in the present. Spirit, please talk to me about the Eight of Swords here in the present moment when it comes to the person that Taurus is dealing with. Talk to me about this Eight of Swords energy. Okay, Six of Wands. Hmm. I swear they wanna pull up on you. It's like they wanna come see you, they wanna talk to you. They just feel like either you're gonna say no Either you're upset with them or they can't get their way with you, right? So they would rather go and deal with somebody who says yes to them all the time too. Like, you know, Taurus, we are the type of people that um, it's very important to see people grow, right? We're not going to say yes to people all the time, right? Where's the gift in that? What we like to do is help people enhance their skills, right? We're not going to enable people to keep depending on others. We don't rock like that. I feel like your person depends too much on other people. I don't want you to change who you are, Taurus. Keep doing what you do. You're the hierophant, the teacher, the leader, the counselor, the therapist, everything. Okay? And if they want to be with someone who likes to get stepped on, then that's their choice to be with someone who unfortunately isn't strong. Let's keep it real. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a sign of weakness. And I feel like they kind of, they prey on that. They look for weakness so that they can manipulate. So just keep that in mind. You know exactly who you're dealing with, you have exposed this person, okay? If your cross watcher is watching this, the person that deals with you, the person that deals with a Taurus, they're gonna feel some type of way because they know that it's them. Now, let's clarify the future here. So we have this nine of swords. Why is your person so stressed out over here? Spirit, talk to me about the future here with this nine of swords energy. Mm. Yeah, because there's not going to be this brand new beginning that they want with you and something that they're wishing upon a star on, whatever this is, it's not going to work. And that's why they're going to be stressed out, right? You know, I heard somewhere, you can't manifest when you do dirt, right? <laughs> There's no way. So I just feel like karma's going to be real in the future. They're stressed out because something ends up not going in their favor. That's why I'm saying you don't have to make a move. You don't have to do anything. Just let the universe take care of it. They know what they did. Let's put it like that. They know what they did. Tell me more. Okay. Justice. All right. Taurus, this is what they want. They want peace with you, okay? They want to say sorry or they um, want you still in their life. 
This is Libra energy, okay? Maybe you have a Libra coming in in the future for some of you. Who knows? But this is also a card of peace offering. So I feel like they're going to come to you. You already know that, okay? Keep that in mind. But it's not like you didn't see this coming. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person, please. Aries energy with the fool. Okay? Why do we have that Aries energy there? Why do we have that Aries energy, please? Mm. They're going to take a risk and do something that you're not going to expect them to do. Okay? I feel like this is a confession. The moon reversed. Pisces energy reversed. Something is revealed. Okay? What is revealed? Spirit, please talk to me about what is revealed here in the future. What is revealed here in the future? Mm. Five of Cups. I don't know what's going on with your person, Taurus. I don't know what bad choice they made or what they thought was going to be better. It's like they thought that the grass was greener elsewhere, right? And look at how they're pulling up now. Mm-hmm. Believe it. Now, clarifying this Aries energy, the queen of pentacles, okay? You. We have the world. We have the ace of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I know that you mean the world to this person, okay? And they're going to want another opportunity. I just feel like you're not going for it. That's how I feel. There's somebody that wants something from you, all right? Because they view you as very lucrative here, very creative. Look at all this bread. Look at all this money you're getting. You feel what I'm saying? Look at this, okay? They want in on that. I feel like you're going to say no. Hmm, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Very intense reading. I want to thank you so much for watching. To book your private reading, all of that info is below. Please follow me on Instagram. It's the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content. Thank you for watching. Take care.